Why, hello, my fellow Voice of the Rings members, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, and this is a Lord of the Rings excursion. And what game are we playing right now, my friends? Well, we are playing the brand new... Well, actually, technically, it's a demo. It's not the game yet. But you saw the, if you saw the last episode, you'd understand what we're playing. We're playing Return to Nogrim. It's a dwarven adventure, and it is not take place in the Lord of the Rings world, but it is dwarven, and Tolkien has inspired many a game like this. So we're going to play it a little bit, because it has much potential for voiceovers and for storytelling and lots of fun stuff we can do on our channel as an excursion. Because it's always fun to have more games we can use, right? As Voice of the Rings. I am your host and guide, Zelda and Iron Shield. We are playing as a dwarf in this game. He has lost his memories. We do not know who we are. We are basically learning the game as he learns w what happened to this old fortress he is in. We are in the forge room. So we are going to craft a weapon in the forge. That is our first challenge for today. So we will work on this right now. And then, um, let's see. We have smithing. The ore needs smelting. All right. So, we're going to work on this together. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out my main stuff on the channel too. Our main playlists, like a Lotro Tale, a Lotro Adventure, a Lotro Tour, a Lotro Guide. All of those fantastic things are our main stuff on this playlist. This is a Lord of the Rings excursion, so if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Welcome. I have many links down there to all free things and or Discord uh, but with through Patreon. Or don't forget to free like and subscribe on YouTube, guys. It's free. Alright, so... We also might stream this game on Twitch, which is down there in the future. So keep in tune. Keep up keep up with me, my friends. Let's continue. So we're going to do a little bit of forging here. Again, I'm brand new to this game, so I do not know how it works, but I'm sure it's not too challenging. Uh, famous last words, of course. It's always the famous last words. Um, furnace. All right, so let's start the furnace up here. So there we go. We're going to throw some logs into the fire here. It looks like the more I throw in, the longer time I get to forge. Does it get hotter the more I throw in, too? I probably have to get it going. Open the flaps. Oh, interesting. Sweet. Does it, like, increase the heat? Anyway. So that 15 is all you can have at a time. This must be one log going down. That's my guess. All right. You can switch between the things. So you don't have to move and walk every time. That is very convenient. I don't like games that make it where you have to like come out, go to the next one, waste your time. You can't do stuff. All right. So now if I want to cast, what if I want to cast iron and gold? Can I do them at the same time? Looks like I can. So I'm just going to put all the iron in there, all the gold. So I'm assuming this will start smelting it down. That's my guess. All right. Cast. I should try to smelt it to get back some of the resources. Did I just ruin all my resources? I might have done that. Ores. Hmm. All right. So I basically got my ores back out of it. So this casting process is usually after you have your materials. So... I need to go to the forge here. Um, dwarven coins. Interesting. You can even. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and read our info here. We have. All right. So, basic cup, basic spoon. So, what if I want to? I need iron first. All right. So, if I want the to basic forge. Cup. Oh. I'm done. Or did I just learn how to do it? A basic spoon. Heck yeah. Just what we needed. But I can't craft that until... Ooh, okay, so... Dur steel. Bronze and iron. Wood. Okay, so I need to make... So what I did wrong was, when I went to the... Foundry here, I put two kinds of metals and messed them up. What I should have done is done just iron. And then said forge. Cast. There we go. So I just put a bunch of stuff together and it just made a crap mix of metals. Whoops, I should have realized that. Ho oh, oh, ho, that makes sense. Alright, and we're going to cast I that. should try to smelt it to get back some of the resources. Wait, what did I do? Whoops. Did I just cast them together again? 
What did I, what, what is happening here? Okay, let's try this again. So I have iron now. So if I cast iron with a piece of gold, does that make it? I should try to smelt you know, it to get back does, some of the results. That does not. That, okay, okay, well, all right. We'll, we'll, I'll figure this out. Give me a second. All right, well, that gave me back so interesting. So I can always get the resources back out of it, which is interesting. I feel like when I redo that, it should the iron should go back to being just an iron ingot, but I mean an iron ore. But okay. Um. So now that I have iron, what can I do with iron? So I can make a I can make us this, right? Or uh, so <laughs> obviously when I clear, yes, I want to clear the slots. So I could do the cup, right? So if I clear it all. Yeah, it's clear. I could just do a piece of iron. And then I could forge... A basic cup. A basic cup. So now I have a cup. Sweet. All right. Well, that's... Uh... So how do I make copper? I need actual copper, right? Resource. Um, so let's go over to this box. That I think had stuff in it from last episode, right? So it has copper here. Oh, look at that. Did I just claim 10 copper when I clicked it? Craft a weapon in the forge. Okay. The ore needs smelting. So again, I need the advanced top one is weapons. So I need to craft this. So I need dur steel, bronze and iron. So I need two more iron bronze and dur steel. Did that actually give me resources though? The ore I... needs smelting. It did. It gave me copper. Okay. So I need two more iron. This is kind of cool. So this is the crafting system in this game. It, it's cool. It's it's pretty pretty simple, self-explanatory and there must be some plans from the smith flying around. Okay. So now I need one bronze and one dur steel. Now was that just in the box? Can I just grab that? Where's the box? There's the box. Couldn't find the box for a second. All right. All right. So let's take the. Um, we need dur steel. All right. We got some of that and. What was the other one we needed? I already forgot. What if we just take a little of everything? Apparently it just gives it to us. The ore needs smelting. See, I need I need bronze. That's the one thing I didn't get. Okay. Bronze is usually a combination of copper and tin, right? Right? I believe so. The ore needs smelting. So copper, tin, four. I should try to smelt it to get back some of the Wait. resources. Wait a second. What? I do. There isn't just bronze ore, because I thought bronze was a combination of those. Let's see if there's info on this. All right, let's look at our inventory real quick. Documents, craft a weapon. We're on chapter here, basically in the tutorial still, guys, and it teaching us how to craft. But um, I am at a loss for how I get. Where does the smith hide his gold? I don't know. How do I get bronze? Looks promising. What? I didn't have any bronze. Did it just craft it? 
I'm, I'm so confused. It was red like I didn't have bronze, but apparently I did have bronze? Well, I made the weapon. So look what it looks like. Ooh, it's nice. All right, sweet. So we're done. All right, well, a little bit confused to why we were able to do it when it was red and didn't say we had bronze, but maybe we didn't need bronze. Maybe it was one of the resources we need, could use. The ore needs smelting. I need to look at this now a little bit more because it said we didn't have any. And yet it let us forge it. So maybe we didn't need to have bronze. Maybe that was one of the things we needed. It looks like the way they have it, though, it looks like you need all these. You need five of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. And I didn't have that. So why was I able to forge it? Oh, that's cool. The cursive goes into basic forging. How to forge a light axe with a wooden handle, including instructions on how to decorate the head with common dwarf patterns. Okay. Sweet. Well, that's a little bit of a weird one. If anyone knows off the cuff with this game, if you know the reason, if I'm right, as in you don't need all those resources, it's just one of the metals, you can leave a comment. If you don't, don't worry about it. We'll figure. I'm sure I'll figure it out in the future. All right. Well, I think we're where done in here. Where does the smith hide his gold? I don't know. Where does the smith hide his gold? Are we supposed to look for gold? <laughs> I like that the forge is on like going though. It's cool. Let's heat the furnace. Can I take the wood back out? No, of course not. It's on fire already. That doesn't make any sense. All right, anyway. Pretty cool. So anyway, again, it's a resource pick station as, and I think because it's, it's in a beta, it's kind of show you how the crafting will work. I don't think in the future they'll just give you free resources like that when the game officially comes out, but this is my guess, right? If a dwarf is not in the mines, the smithy or the battlefield, you will probably find him in the tavern. Keep your torch close when darkness approaches. Very cool indeed. Wow, the citadel, the dwarven training site. The mine, the... So now that I have all that, I could probably go into a new door. This door is closed. No, but I thought the door was open. So now we can kind of like teleport around apparently through these doors. That's what I thought was going to happen. It almost has a feeling of uh, the Lego games. You guys remember like, you know how you're like, like Lego Star Wars, you're like in a tavern and then you just walk through a certain door to go to like what chapters and what stories are Lego Lord of the Rings, right? Like you're somewhere and you have little doors to go through. Has that feel a little bit. Just a tad bit of that feel. Oh! The game freaked out on us for a second there. But it has that feel, doesn't it? Alright. Anyway, this is back out at the front here. I wonder if we can cut through that original door. So this is back in the original spot, right? When you come in. I'm gonna try to slice through this. Here we go. Heck yeah. Ho! Oh. Sorry. The game seemed to have frozen on me. It is quite frozen, I must say. This is bound to happen in a new game, but um, I killed it apparently. What have I done? Poor game. Hold on. No oh, right. They have fixed the problem. Oh, oh, or not, or not. Take it. White screen. We are back. Okay, we're good. We're good. By the way, here's the opening, guys. It's pretty cool. So I thought I'd show you real quick. So again, this is the opening screen, right? Again, it's beta, right? So demo. It's not even. A, I don't always know it's beta. It's a demo, right? Demo of the game. All right, let's load our game. Let's hopefully, since it crashed on us, it's saved. So I'm just gonna click load and just hope it fills us in the same spot we we left off. So I'm sure it will. Most gaming 
companies are pretty good about that now realizing that that's kind of important in games no one likes to have their game crash or mess up and then not have any info all right yep sweet let's see if we can actually break Ooh, what's this respond let's try this one more time when i break in here let's see if the game just dies or if it was here we go sweet all right cool sweet all right we'll go back now cool 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 I definitely, this episode, got a better um, stability on the system with recording this game for you guys. Because there's a little less lag spikes and stuff so than the previous. The only time it has a little lag spike is occasionally when the game loads. But again, it's a demo. So it's going to have troubles with that sometimes, probably. It's a fun game, though. And you should all check it out and try the demo for yourselves. And then you can come and enjoy it with me and have, bring yourself some tea. And we'll do... I'll add to it. We'll do stories, and I'll read things at different voices. Hence, the voice of the rings, because I am your host and guide, Zolid Iron Shield, through all your dwarven needs and adventures. All right. This door is closed. What's this door? This door is closed. So, so that's probably the one you leave when you're done with the adventure part, right? With the training. This door is closed. These doors are closed. I get it. This door is closed. I get it. This door is closed. Can I use any of these, though? This door is closed. All right. Well, let's see. Where are we at with our quests here? Examine the mines. Brace yourself. Go back to the mine. Descend deeper into the mine. Okay, sweet. So we are now allowed to go into the mines. Is this the mines? I forget which one's the mine. This is the forge, and this is the mine. The mine! <laughs> Now we have a special axe, so we can go in without troubles or worries. It'll be awesome. Creatures from the deep may not see well. But their other senses are sharp. Alright. Mining and chopping. The mining site. Alright, so we have our special new axe. So we're gonna run down this little walkway here. Run, 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 run! Whoa. Oh, whoa! Deeper into the mines, a forge weapon, and equip myself. I'm ready to find out what's down there. Follow the mine tunnel, follow the mine tunnel further down. Deep, deep into the mines. What dangers will lurk in the shadow? I'm ready for whatever might come. Now I should pass the port calls and see what... It seems you have reached the end of this Return to Nundren playable teaser. Oh. By Taldoran's bid, I remind you that this is not a demo or a vertical slice. I haven't swung my axe, nor did I smash some of those eight-legged ugly creatures with the hammer that I will find later for sure. Never judge a dwarf by the adventures he has not yet gone on. Well said. And now? <laughs> okay, well. And they have been doing little updates. So, um, that is it. But I'm assuming this world is going to be huge. But that is crazy that that is, um, that is it, my friends. So, that was a quick episode compared to the last one. But, for the Solar Rings excursion, we will definitely do some more of this game when it officially comes out. As well as the Golem game. And we have the expansion coming out, right? Like, there's a lot of cool stuff we are going to have out soon, my friends. So, keep, um, keep in touch. Click that subscribe button. Don't forget to like. Leave a comment. What do you think about this game? Looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, next episode will be up there. Lord of the Rings Excursion. Our main place of Lodger Tale. You should check out. It'll be right over there. I want to do a quick little thanks and shout out to my Patreon. You are awesome. Thank you for supporting me. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, there's a lot of perks. And um, the smaller amount gets you our Discord. But if you want to support me freely, subscribe and like. 
I'd appreciate that greatly. And sharing the videos. That is awesome. Supporting your favorite dwarf, Zul and Iron Shield. All right. You guys have a wonderful day in Middle-Earth. Check out the links down there. Check out the other playlists. And I'll see you.